Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making chicken and rice skillet dinner. Alright guys, I'm starting out here. I have my skillet Dutch oven combination here heating up. And I took three large chicken breasts. I cut them in half lengthwise and seasoned them with some salt and pepper. Now I'm going to add a little bit of uh, grapeseed oil in here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to brown up all of my chicken fillets, chicken breast fillets, so they're good and golden brown on all or on both sides. Now this isn't going to totally cook them through, but it's going to get them good and brown. So I'm going to get them in here, get them all browned up, and when we're done with that, I'll bring it back. All right, now that my chicken's all browned up and I set it aside, I drain the extra grease out of my pan. Now you want to be careful here. I'm going to add a cup and a half of water in here. Just dump it in salt because you don't want to get splattered with grease. I'm also going to add in a ten and a half ounce can of cream of chicken soup. Now guys, I have a little bit of rice in there because I measured my rice in the cup first and I dumped it on a bowl and used the bowl to put the throw, use the cup to put the water and that's why you see a little bit of rice in there. Alright. Now I'm going to add in a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of paprika. I'm going to give that a stir. Just to mix everything together, guys. I turn my heat off. I'm going to turn it on medium and start heating this up a while. And you don't have to have it blend it perfect because as this cooks, the soup will dissolve in there in the water. Okay, now I have two cups of instant white rice. We're going to add that in. And I'm going to give that a stir. Get that moistened in there. And I'm going to add in some frozen broccoli florets. I'm going to add, and these are 12 ounce bags, I'm going to add in about 16 ounces. So there's 12 ounces. And I'm just going to stir that down in, guys. And I'm going to add about 4 ounces from the next bag in. And the leftover broccoli, guys, you can just microwave a little butter over for a side dish or a little snack. Give that a stir. I'm going to lay my chicken back in. I'm going to put my thicker pieces down first. In fact, I said in the beginning of the video, I cut these in half, but I didn't get them all cut exactly perfect. Some are a hair thicker than the other ones, but that's all right. Let's bring that one out in a minute. Okay, now I'm going to dump this chicken broth that was on the plate in there. Let me get rid of that, guys. And I'm going to add a little bit of paprika to my chicken. That'll add a little bit of flavor and add a lot of color. Now I'm going to put a cover on this. I'm going to bring this up to a gentle boil, a little higher than a simmer, and I'm going to cook that for probably about five to eight minutes till the rice is cooked, the chicken's finished cooked through, and that broccoli's tender and warm through. All right, guys, this is done. It actually took 10 minutes. I checked it with the meat thermometer, the chicken, to make sure it's up to 165. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. Guys, I went ahead and added a little bit of mozzarella cheese on top of my rice and broccoli because that's what I had on hand. You can use any kind of cheese you like. Let's go ahead and check this chicken out. You can see my chicken's cooked through. Nice and tender. Moist. Well seasoned. A little bit of rice and broccoli with that cheese. That's really good guys. There you have a complete meal in one pot. Alright, there you have it chicken rice skillet dinner. Give it a try. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see ya.